ओके आई एम मनोज पालवे आई एम एथोराइज कंसल्टेंट फॉर कैनेडा आई एम मेंबर ऑफ आई सी सी आर सी कैनेडा टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फॉर विच यूर स्टूडेंट वीजा एप्लीकेशन फॉर कैनेडा मे गेट रिजेक्टेड फर्स्ट रीजन इज द वीसा ऑफिसर इज नॉट कन्विंस दैट यू विल बी रिटर्निंग बैक टू युअर होम कंट्री आफ्टर युअर स्टडीज that is a major reason for visa rejection this is the problem now what is the solution in your submission you should have addressed this particular question in a very detailed explanation we can help you considering your background we will definitely help you i drop a proper letter and will insist that after your studies you will definitely come back to can second reason is that which your course you are choosing to study in canada visa officer may not agree he may think that looking you are looking at your earlier studies your age and your work experience this particular course is not appropriate this is the problem and what is the solution again we have to make a detailed personal note that how this particular course which you are choosing to study in canada which will be helping for your future career what is the relation of this particular course with your earlier experience or earlier studies we have to highlight if there is no correlation you should have some convincing arguments to convince the visa officer that you are on the right path third major objection raised by the visa officer is financial insufficiency normally for a canadian student visa you need to show at least one year's fund but sometimes what happen the visa officer are trained to think in a negative way even you are showing this funds they may be asking more because there are always some uncertainty in any kind of things so if you are just showing just sufficient funds it may be problematic so we should try to show much more funds much more funds much more financial capacity that is it that is required which is at minimum we will guide you for that thing also another thing is about your travel history if you are not having an adequate travel history then again it may create problems if you are having some police cases pending against you or even your ilt score is just minimum it may create problems for you simultaneously if you are applying for some other visa and if you are not providing any explanation it may cause problems for example supposing you are applying for a student visa and parallelly you are applying for a pr visa also it is theoretically it is possible practically you have to underline this thing underline this is called a principle of dual intent if you are not underlining this thing this officer may doubt your intent to study in canada because you are already parallelly applying for a pr visa these are the important reasons while applying for a student visa you should focus on this thing we should make sure that you are properly addressing your providing sufficient explanation sufficient supporting documents then i don't think your visa will get rejected thank you thank you for listening